let's talk a little bit about the guys that you protected in your in your career. What, what when did uh, when did you realize Tua might be special, Jedrick? Um, if I'm gonna be honest, I knew Tua was special since actually high school. Um, coming out of high school, we were in the same class, 2017 uh, class for Alabama. And I was actually, the first time I saw two in person was at the opening. Um, it was our senior year of high school. And we were out to Eugene, Oregon for the opening spark combine. And um, at the time, I don't I don't recall if he was the top quarterback in the class. I know he was like maybe like the number one dual threat, but he wasn't like the very top of the charts. And uh, they had like the seven on seven turn that going on there. And he was lighting everybody up. It was actually it was actually pretty fascinating to watch him being a left-handed quarterback. There wasn't too many of those and so on and so forth. But um, his talent level has always been there. Everybody didn't really notice it until he came in in 2017 and won us a national championship um, versus Georgia. But um, practicing day in and day out with him when I was a freshman and then leading up until then, um, he's always been always been been there with the talent and everything that he has to bring to the table. Well, I mean, and, and you know, you've just brought something up that's very interesting, a left-handed quarterback. I mean, and we were all marveling about how Tua came in at halftime of that national championship game and what he did. I mean, how did that affect you on the line? Hey, halftime, here we go. Here comes Tua. Now suddenly your flip, your air, protections are flipping. I mean, he's a left-hander. That's a totally different ball of wax, is it not? Um, It is, most definitely. And being on the right side and him being actually the blind side quarterback is something that you have to take into account. Um, But it's nothing that I pay too much attention to and get wrapped up in because I feel like no matter what side of the line you're playing on, you have to protect no matter what. Right. There will be differences in slides and um, – man protections and people who are manned up on the backside and people who are sliding away and things like that. So that's where that awareness aspect comes into. But I feel like at the end of the day, you just have the ball no matter what. And with him being a left-handed quarterback, it's just special, um, special for him. And obviously, again, you just, Jedrick Wills here on the Rich Eisen Show, you just gave voice to an offensive lineman's mantra, which is the quarterback, no matter who it is, I'm protecting that guy and I'm going to go into the figurative foxhole with that guy. And, <laughs> And have that mentality, and then the, you know that. So Jalen Hurts was that guy uh, until we all saw what happened with Tua. Um, give me a front row seat as to how he handled his business and what that means for his next level. I chatted with him last week. I I, I think nothing but the highest regard of him. What was it like for you to be right in the middle of all that, Jedrick? Um, we're, we're speaking on Jalen, correct? Yes, sir. Um, Jalen was a leader since day one. Uh, like you said, when I got there. And he was the main guy. I feel like he was always the guy. Um, even after Tua went in and did what he did and then ended up taking the starting job, um, Jaden was still a leader. Um, he was still there day in and day out working and improving his game, um, just trying to be a better quarterback. He never once, like, changed his personality or changed the way that he came to practice or game day. Um, he was always there just being that, that leader that he always has been. Yeah, I, I I just thought so highly of, of how he handled his business and, and how successful he was at Oklahoma and, and what that means for his his next level, Jedrick, right? I mean, uh, Correct. what was it? So, all right, let me just ask um, you, say that again? No, I was going to say I agree with you, correct. I feel like that, that situation did nothing but make him a better player. And as you can see, like you mentioned, he went to Oklahoma and handled business. So, um, so short of, I'm sure, what was his goal is to be a national championship, right. which I thought he was capable of. He's a national championship quarterback, leading Alabama to two of them. Um, but it'll do nothing but make him better, and I feel like he's improved his game a whole lot. He's been grinding day in and day out to, like you said, when he gets to the next level to have that chip on his shoulder and come in and show that he will be an NFL quarterback. Hey, man, he ran one from 30 yards in against Clemson's defense to put uh, Alabama up with two minutes to go in that game. I mean, he. Correct. I mean, he we'd be talking about that for for years had 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 the result been differently, and that's, you know, I, I guess again, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's career how it all works out with you and everyone else.